got another excellent booth coming up and we have Skyline Attractions and we have Evan right here. Evan is the rep for Skyline Attractions and we've got some really fantastic products from you guys. In fact, we have this crazy crab, which used to be your crazy couch, correct? Right, it's a technically a crazy crab themed crazy couch. It's the same ride system, different theming. We can uh, build all sorts of themes for it. That was the most feedback that we got last year. Is should make it a little more exciting to attract kids. You know, more exciting than a couch. Yeah. Um, so we went to the crab this year, and we're advertising it as endless theming possibilities. You can really do what you want. With it. Well, and I saw you had a couple other examples. What were those other examples that you had? Um, on our banner, we show like an alien encounter uh, type of ride, and also like a whitewater uh, type of ride. And really, anything with that motion, we can we can we can figure something out. Of course. You you and Chris have some crazy minds, and when you guys get together, you can make some really crazy rides. In fact, that's what this thing over here looks like. Yeah. So tell me about what this is. Sure, this is Skywarp. Um, Skywarp is sort of our reintroduction back into coasters. Uh, most of us came from wooden coasters. Um, we sought to fill a need, that, and that need is a high thrill for a low price. Um, this is currently around the $2 million mark, depending on options. And um, for $2 million, you, you can't get much more thrilling uh, right now than like a, a wild mouse. So. It's not even that. It's got a very small footprint. That's right. So it's not going to take up a lot of retail uh, space or even just property at the theme park. So I could see them putting this in, say, with some of the other looping rides. Very similar style, but this one, you've got two separate trains on there. So you got the interaction where you're going to be passing other people right. that are on the same ride with you. And, and they're actually technically not separate. They're connected um, through the entire loop. Really? Um, so how's that happen? There's a one large chassis that goes through? Yeah, or? that's right. So you have two ends of the same train that have passengers in them. They're connected in the middle. That way they're always spaced properly. You always have the dueling action and it basically allows you to run two trains at the same time without a block system. It also allows the, um, the drive system, in this case it would be drive tires or LSMs, they'll always be in contact with part of the train so you know we really can uh, work in some pretty, you know, a lot of conditions. We don't have to worry about friction quite as much. And I, I assume it goes off of the client whether they'd want the friction wheels or if they want an LSM. Either way you guys can do, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. We've, we've spoken with um, some of the industry experts with LSMs. We, we already know how we would do it. That, that, that one has a premium with it. Uh, the drive tires is with the, the base model for the lower cost. Again, I think that looks like a really neat concept. Now, you guys, like I said, this is your reintroduction to roller coasters. Most of you guys have a roller coaster AC path, but you've done other little similar things like the spin you win. Right. So you're doing games still as well, or what um, are your yeah, plans? Yeah, we're still marketing them, we're still selling them. This is just our new thing that we're, we're pushing real hard this year. But yeah, we, we started small, and that was for a few reasons. Um, we thought it important to actually make prototypes of the ideas we had to gain a little bit of credibility as a new company. Yep. Um, and, you know, just sort of help us grow, help us gain a presence. Um, and, you know, now we're slowly working back up to the stuff we're, we're, you know, we have a history with. That isn't to say we're going to abandon anything we've already uh, created. Um, if we have the resources, we have the ideas, we'll, we'll pursue anything of any size. So. Yeah, again, like I said, you and Chris have some really creative minds. Your whole company as a group just made of some yeah, really every, fantastic people. Every, so Everyone, you know, certainly has input. Um, we all have some pretty good ideas. I think, uh, I think you'll see some good stuff coming from us. Yeah, I'm very excited. Have you had much interest in this product um, this year at least? We have. Uh, we've been pleasantly surprised. Uh, surprised because we didn't think we had a good product, but, you know... Um, the fact that people wanted it, or that there yeah, was the, the interest, interest yeah. seems uh, genuine. Is a you know good way of putting it. Um, you know we've been busy with all the right people, and uh, we're, we're pretty optimistic. Well, Constantly like I said, optimistic. from my standpoint at least, I, I get tired of the same old looping style ride. I'm not going to name any names or anything else. That this is a literally a creative twist on that. So it's something different again. It's I'm very excited to see it. But uh, again, Evan, thank you so much for speaking at Skyline Attractions. You're going to have some really phenomenal stuff coming out in the next couple years, and we look forward to seeing it. So thank you so much, Evan, for Great. spending time. Thank you. My pleasure.